Sometimes you need a friend, not the ones that just show up and don't put nothing in. You know the ones that lend their hand and want to see you win. When you come up on that lick, make sure you cut them in. And then, huh, sometimes you need a foe. Want to keep your eyes open, keep you on your toes. You know the ones that want to keep you where you've been before. But I can't go, no I can't go. No, I can't go. And whoa, huh, sometimes I need a check. Not the sneakers, but the ones that make you watch your step. You know, I sat down with my accountant, he said, I got good news and I got bad news. Okay. I said, what's the good news? He said, the good news is you made a lot. I okay. said, what's the bad news? The bad news is you spent more. What, 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 okay. okay. Look, yeah. sometimes you need the faith. Sometimes you need to know you or sometimes you need to wait. Shoot like the golden boy, but in front of bait. You can't negotiate with Drake. You gon' have to pay for wait. Jugging on the main stage. <laughs> Today, from Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City, this is Madden NFL 21. Bradley Pinion set to go. Boy, no shortage of intrigue in this one. And the Bucks and the Chiefs are underway from Kansas City. And now running right through it. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result had he opted for the touchback. 25-yard line. Play action. Now it's Mahomes. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And nearly picked off there. Almost intercepted. Instead, second down is Robinson. An early message that this secondary is going to be tested because even though it fell incomplete, it almost felt like a warning shot to get things going. The first carry now, this is Williams. And from the 25, they work this to the 29, a gain of four. Williams, the ball carrier. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They need to make up some ground, and they did. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Not the desired outcome, but probably won't be the last time we see him take a shot downfield. On oh, is the putter Townsend as he gets this one away. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. And this could be a whole lot of fun because if his game plan goes into effect early, we're going to see some shots downfield, aren't we? What did he talk to us about? Stretching the field. He wants to open things up for not just his receivers, but for anything underneath. Well, that was the theme, the front page of the sports section. What the columnists write, possible air. Raid. So we'll see. Yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the coaches view that, right? What? Who gave what game plan? I think it's pretty obvious that that'll help them win. Throwing on second and eight. Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's going to get this one across the 30 yard line. It's a first down on a gain of 10. And the Buccaneer first down. Operating from the gun, Brady. This one complete to Scott Miller. Brady's pass. A good pick up there. Eight Scottie yards Miller. on the first down completion. It's a gain of eight. Brings up second and two at the 30. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Here's Ronald Jones, first carry for the USC man. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Heavy set out there on third and one. It's third down. They'll try and run for it with Jones. And he'll lose yardage on the play back at the 37-yard line. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're a hell. Yeah, we saw the result. Negative yardage. On is the punt team now as this one sent away. And he can't field it cleanly. It's loose. But fortunately, he's able to recover his own fumble, or that could have been trouble. Oh, and now he bowls him over. 
Nicole Hartman on the return. I know there's no magnet in the ball, but sometimes for the punt returner, after such a scramble, it sort of feels that way, doesn't it? He has it, he loses it, somehow the ball finds its way back to him. The tone for his sin, and you know he's taking a deep sigh of relief right now. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. An ideal beginning of the drive there is they'll get 20 and a first down. First and 10 at the 41-yard line. Williams. some of the slack because remember last drive they went three and out and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 another nice gain 13 yards that time and another first down how best to describe that one i'd say right down broadway on that run a straight ahead running i think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackle and he will take it on in for a chiefs touchdown taking it in from a out. And the Chiefs are going to take the first quarter lead. In as many coaches' meetings as we sit in, we hear the word finish all the time, don't we? And on that play, the back actually finished getting into the end zone, breaking the last tackle. Tried to wrap up, tried to use the proper technique, just wasn't able to get it done. Extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 7 nothing. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. Now Jones. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. The Bucks take over first and 10 at their own 31-yard line. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trite expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. Here's a throw caught by Gronkowski. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. Good work after the catch. Going to net him 23 and a first. First down, Tampa Bay. After one, seven nothing on EA Sports. Chiefs seven, Buccaneers nothing. On first down, Brady to Evans on the slant. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive and once again they show passing formation showing the shotgun and they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively though to hold it to a short game. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Miller. Scott Miller. A two yard gain on the play and it's third down. From the gun on third down. Brady. Pressure applied taken down. They sack him back at the 33-yard line. The Mississippi State man, Chris Jones, with a sack there. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they hate it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride. I mean, they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. But it's really, really difficult. We talk about some terrific athletes who are trying to put him on the ground. So distance not the issue there. He had plenty of leg to get it there. It's that darn upright getting in the way. Always gets in the way of a good time, doesn't it? Because he hit it square, too. Sometimes you can bank one in if you get it on the end of the football. No such luck there for him. Call that a very strong gain of 24. And a 
good quarterback facing zone coverage if he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene that's what's going to happen no doubt about it if there's no pressure he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield you can only cover for so long so maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme get a little bit more pressure remember when carolina did that against denver they lost the game ultimately they dropped the defensive end out and he ended up with an interception in that game in super bowl 50. maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. And 10 yards to From go. the gun on third down, Mahomes dancing to his left. He may try and run for this. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. Oh, nice job there on the escape and scramble. A first down, a 16-yard gain. Under the category of obvious, you hate giving up a first down, a third and long. And somehow, he finds his way downfield and picks it up. If you look at the coverage defensively, oh, this is great, but no one accounted for him at the quarterback spot. At some point, you actually have to tackle him and get him on the ground short of the first down marker. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And the Chiefs are going to be set up with a first and goal. He couldn't quite reach the chalk, but they'll have it at the one-yard line. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights. And he is in. Touchdown, Kansas City. Damian Williams with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Chiefs add on to their lead. Harrison Butker on to the Always a good first half when you can hit pay dirt twice. And it never hurts to have that good feeling as the game moves on. Just think about halftime. If, it, if that's is all he gets, he'll just sit there at the half and think, all right, two already. I can get some more. I can get some more. And he'll be encouraging his offensive line to create some space. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. First and ten, here's Brady. And that's complete, it's Chris Godwin. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Great way to start the drive. 20 big ones at the first down. And he's taken down, a Chiefs sack. Wilson. Brady's saying let's go as he'll hustle him to the line. To try again after the sack. Brady, that's complete to his receiver, Godwin. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. On third and long, it's Brady. Quickly to Gronkowski. That's caught. And he gets this to the 48, but no further. Well short of the line to gain. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he could break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. And he's not going to go anywhere as they get him down behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. So we've come upon halftime. You want the third quarter already? No problem. Let's do it. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 to score as we get rolling again here in this second half. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Bucks take over first and 10. At their own. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drive should be served. Come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try to figure out what is working, and call more of that. 
Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. When you run a screen pass really well, you got to like the look of it because so many parts come together to make it work well. The offensive linemen where they're faking people out, the back slipping out there, catching the football, then all of them going together as one unit downfield, a really nice pickup. And he is going to have the Buccaneers first down as he's able to get about three that time on third and inches. It's a first down following a gain of three. Back to the ground, this time with Jones. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Second and 11 at the 35-yard line. Now a draw play. This is McCoy. He's able to rattle off six on the carry, and that'll get him to third and four. Charverius Ward on the tackle. A gain of six yards. And it's from the gun. It's Brady. That's complete to his running back, Evans. Oh, this is going to depend on the spot, but it's not a very generous one. He looks to be about a yard or so short. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. Got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. At their own 20-yard line. So here's the Chiefs offense ready for their first reps in half number two. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they look to add to that lead. Yeah, how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Line of scrimmage, the 28 now as they come up on second and a couple. Through an opening, and there he goes. Past the 20. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Damian Williams, 72 yards. And the Chiefs are able to extend their lead. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And it is now 21 to nothing. The quick strike ability certainly intact there. Two plays, 80 yards to score. Harrison Butker to kick off for Kansas City. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. First and 10 at their own 21-yard line. Now the Buccaneers offensive unit back out on the field. They're down three touchdowns to this point, needing to put something together as they have it first and 10. Working from the gun, it's Brady. Looking for Godwin, and he's got him complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. Obviously, they're not where they want to be right now on the scoreboard. Big plays like that, though, that'll trend them in the right direction. Yeah, a few more like that, they'll be right back in the game. And if they can continue to do that, maybe they'll inspire their defense as well to get a few stops. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. This defense is just flat getting after it. They've not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. Second and 11 now. Shotgun now for Brady. And this is going to be incomplete. Unable to get it to Gronkowski that time. But now it's third down. Third down and 11. From the gun, Brady. And that's complete. It's Watson. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. A big pickup there, 18 yards and a Buccaneer first. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. Right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating 
what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. That was a really nice job by them picking up the run blitz and detecting it and blocking it and turning it into a nice run. And a lot of times you think if you blitz a running play, you're going to smother it. But a lot of the blitzers, they come in a little bit high. They don't have great leverage, and they're easily blocked and turned to the side. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. On third down, here's Jones. And he'll go down, and that will do it for the third quarter of action. We have played three quarters. We'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Operating from the gun. Brady. This is caught. Gronkowski. And the Bucs are going to be set up with a first and goal on a pass play that moves them all the way down to the one. It's a 10-yard gain there, and it sets them up now first and goal. And he is not going to get through here on try number one. They stop him at the goal line. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Leads to second and goal. What a game this defense continues to play, huh? Yeah, they've been aggressive from the first snap, and they've controlled this ball game. But right now, if you're on the other side of the ball, you've got to match that aggressiveness. No points so far in this game. Moving the football, got to be that way to go against them and try and get some points on the board. And I'm curious on the defensive side if they stay aggressive because you know they will. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Bucs are able to cut into that deficit. Matt Gay on for the extra point. It's up, it's good, and that'll cut the lead to 21 to 7. So that one a pretty time-consuming 10-play drive. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. And following the touchdown now, it's Bradley Pinion on to kick this one away. Here's Hardman on the return. Continuing to fight for more. And he'll go down as this drive will start at the 25-yard line. At their own 25-yard line. Damian Williams and the Chiefs ready to begin their next drive. I guess it kind of goes without saying at this point, but he's had a great game, as we like to say, a nose for the end zone, no doubt. Continues to find him throughout this game, and I'm sure he's got a nice place to live. He might want to make an offer on the end zone for a second home because that's what it's been like throughout this contest. He knows how to get there, and boy, he looks happy when he does. He's already bought all the property in the end zone. That's the problem. He's going to sell to himself now. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after him. Trying to... And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Shaquille Barrett put that sack by his name in the stat sheet. Okay, was it a breakdown of protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. Amazing. Perfectly placed. If that ball goes one extra yard, maybe not even an extra yard, the starting point is the 20. So there is a reason that a lot of punters are also excellent golfers. They know distance control. You know what else they have? Same groove motion over and over. Once they have that down, it repeats under pressure. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Wilson on the tackle. Damian Wilson in on the stop. Here's second and nine, just a yard on that last run. One yard line. Again, it's Jones. And he was very fortunate there to get out of his end zone. He maybe got back to the two-yard line. No gain on the play there, so that doesn't help. Now they're looking up at a third and nine situation. Now 
Jones. And they'll rally and stop him short of the first down at about the six. Call it a gain of four, and it'll bring up fourth down. A gain of four yards. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Brady to throw for it on fourth down. And that is incomplete. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now, boy, the ball's going to go over on downs here inside the 10-yard line. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the other expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town. And he's going to pull his way into the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. A six-yard touchdown run. And the Chiefs are able to grow their lead. And that rushing touchdown, his fourth, puts him just one shy of the NFL record in a single game. And we all know he would love to get to that record and even beyond it, but he doesn't need to in order to impress in this one, does he? What a, what a performance. What an absolute great game that he's had here in this one. Extra point right down the middle. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. Harrison Butker to kick off. Now after the touchdown, here's Butker on to kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. And Tampa Bay trots out there now. They've lost this one. Their offense has struggled. Do they try to put together something here at the end just to take into next week? Yeah, sometimes teams want to do that and coaches want to. I remember one time I was on a team and we were losing late in the game like this and you knew it was lost. It was over, right? And the coach called a running play and pretty much said to everyone, I want to see something executed well before we get out of here. And that was the message to the team. Just something to build Just on. Just something to build on, get it done, and maybe we can look at that and say, we'll get better as we go forward. Brady now on first down. And the Chiefs are going to get him. It was Frank Clark that time who got in there to bring him down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down. From the gun, Brady in trouble and the ball's out. It's in the end zone loose. And what else could go wrong at this point? This is going to be a defensive touchdown as they keep piling it on. Well, there's just about a minute left in this game, and they're still taking it into the end zone. And you know they could have taken a knee there, but they decided to play this one all the way out. And I think their philosophy is, we're going to give you everything we've got. If we just go ahead and take a knee now, we're actually showing you disrespect that way, like taking pity on you. They're not about to do that to their opponent. So here's the kickoff now as he'll get it again following that fumble return for a score. Fielded near the back of the end zone. Ogunbowale elects to not bring it out. At their own 25-yard line. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. Let's just be frank. They're playing for pride at this point. <laughs> that's, that's all that's left because victory... Not a chance now. And I can't wait to see how they actually go about doing it because there are a lot of people watching the body language of the guys on the field now, and if they call plays, they want it. And now a fumble. Brady loses the football. Dangerous spot for them to cough it up. Lucky to have recovered because if the defense got it, they were already within the shadow of the goalpost. Yeah, and then you're yelling at your own defense. Sudden change, sudden change. That's not what you want to hear on your sideline. That means you got to run out there and try and stop an offense who has the ball in a very advantageous position. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. A gain of the Bucks going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 ticks to go in the football game. Brady now on first down. Over the middle, he finds Godwin complete. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Four yards. The Bucks forced to use their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with an even 20 seconds left to go. Hey, watch the slip. Watch the slip. 
Throwing again on second down. Brady. Drops this one off to McCoy underneath. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. To LaShawn McCoy. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And it was their defense that really paved.